A note from myself before the video starts. The BBC Model B featured in this video is very dusty and grimy. It is approximately 37 years or so old. It hasn't had a recondition service although the PSU caps have been done. I will extensively clean it after this video. I just wanted to get this video out today. I got this BBC Model B at a bargain price. Thank you for your understanding. Hello, Paul is the best for UK here and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be installing a SD reader device into my BBC Model B. Now this requires uh, putting an IC inside the BBC and putting the little device on the user port on the underneath of the piece, the BBC sorry. So here we have it, it arrived today, I'm hoping it works. So let's have a look. We have got the device itself comes with an SD card, which I've just dropped. Yeah, comes with an SD card. Little tiny device. Here it is. Retro Clinic issue one. And also is the IC that needs to be installed inside the BBC Micro. So we'll do that first, I've done all the anti-static precautions. So the first thing to do is to take the screws off. There's only two you need to remove I think, and I think it's these two here. No, my mistake. There's two at the top as well. One here. And one here. Ignore this wire in this Ecron net socket. This is just a, a little modification I did for the purposes of YouTube. That's nothing to do with this video. So now I should be able, sorry about that. I should be able to undo the cover. Yes. Now another thing you're going to have to take off is the keyboard. It needs a good clean, this does. It is old though. It needs a good refurbishment to be honest. It needs a good clean. I'll do that one of the days. Uh, yeah, there's a screw. You, you probably find your BBC has a, a bolt this side and a screw the other. Well, I turned them round. But you, uh, you might find you might need to screw it from the other side. When you take these screws off, or the bolt or whatever, the other side should drop off underneath because it goes through the case to the other side. There we go. As you can see, the nut and bolt. Like I said, yours probably will have the bolt on this side. Mine originally did, but I turned it round because I find it more convenient when doing, taking it apart. So now you've done that, you can get, lift the keyboard up. Careful of this flexi cable. On the BBC Model B, oh, it is dusty. On the BBC Model B, you'll see you should see three empty sockets if it hasn't been modified before. Now, it was recommended to me by the uh, people who made it that uh, I plug the Smart SPI. Can I fix it up into the, the right-hand socket here? Now you've got to make sure that the the notch facing upwards like these two so basically the same and just gently making sure all the contacts aren't bent once you've made sure they're all lined up just push it in so the IC is in and you can pull it back together that's all you need to do on this part so it's just a matter of carefully putting the keyboard back down. Putting your screws back in either side of the keyboard and putting everything back together. So once you've got it all back together, you can go ahead and turn it upside down. This goes into the user port here 
third one across. Now you have to, it has to be facing this side of, so if you can see the memory card sticking to the right, that means it's in the right way. So let's do that now. So it goes straight into the user port here. And there we go. If that pops out, just pop it back in, of course. Now it's all done for the hardware side of it. Now to try it out. Let's see if it works. Okay, so now we've got the beep set up to my capture card. So let's have a look, see if it works. Now that's a very good sign. It says Smart SPI. It didn't say that before, so that must mean the IC is correctly fitted. So if you don't see Smart SPI on your, on your BBC Model B, then something's not quite right. So hopefully, if I press Control, now sorry, Shift and Break, I think it is. And as you can see, RetroClinic.com, and here we are. Look at this. Whoa. Plenty of games here. It's in the uh, Teletext mode as well, of course. Oh my god, this is a lot of games. Wow. So yeah, so that, that's uh, basically working. I'm really pleased with this. Let's try a game, shall we? Uh, let's try... Um, let's have a look. What we got? I don't recognise a lot of these games. Beeb Munch, do you require instructions? Why not? So it's... Left and right cursor arrows to move, left and right, and A, Z to move. Let's try this. Beeb Munch. Oh, it's at lower resolution. So, yeah. And it's a Pac-Man clone. Oh, you fuck. So yeah, this is Bee Bunch on the BBC Micro, running off my new device. This is brilliant. Because before, what I was doing, I was using an audio lead and then loading in uh, sounds from tape images from the net, which wasn't ideal, because it took ages for the games to load. But now, now I've got this plugged in, I can just choose a game at will. So if I just switch it off, switch it back on. Press shift and break. Does cat work? I don't know. Mistake. Well, that duh. Mistake. So I'm not sure the commands for accessing the disk, but shift and break brings on that menu anyway. Or it should do. Yeah, there we go. This is brilliant. I'll pick this up off eBay. And I can't recommend it enough. You can probably get them directly from the Retro Clinic website as well. I'll put a link in the description and this is awesome. Let's try Gauntlet. I have never saw the BBC Micro version of Gauntlet. If it's the same game that is. I'll have to use keyboard because I don't have a joystick for the BBC. So AZ. This isn't the same game because I don't think this is the same game because since when can you accelerate on Gauntlet? So AZ, shift and space. Okay, AZ is kind of weird. Uh, this is more like a defender clone. Weird controls, I'm not quite used to these controls. You can hear my uh, old keyboard banging away in the background probably, because this microphone can pick up a lot. Oh, you fool! Anyway, so I just thought I'd show you that quick video of my new BBC micro. SD card solution. Now, in January, I'm going to be doing a game a day, just like I did in December with Spectrum, but this time it's going to be a game, in da a, game a day from the uh, BBC Micro. So, 6 pm daily will be a new BBC Micro game review. I haven't played many BBC Micro games because this is quite a new system to, to me, so I hope to see some good ones. And uh, yeah, so I hope you can tune in when, whenever possible. Click that subscribe button if you want to see them and the bell notification. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. All is the best for UK. Goodbye.